Good afternoon and a warm welcome from the Peninsula Stadium where league leaders Salford City host bottom side Braintree Town in the National League. Again there are no changes from Graham Alexander's side except Josh Askew on the bench for Lois Maynard who's away on international duty. Hakan Hayretta makes four changes for his first league game in charge of Braintree. Amongst those is Reese Grant who scored a hat-trick midweek in the Essex Senior Cup. It's got a very nice feel around it today and there's a very lively atmosphere around Peninsula Stadium as well. Run themselves are throwing on the left hand side. Up it comes from left back Ricky Gabriel. Salford win it back and a ball over the top. Gaffney chasing down. He's got in there into the area. Gets round his man and gets off with the perfect start here at the Peninsula Stadium. It was an easy ball over the top and Rory Gaffney not giving up on that one. Chase it down to the end and nudge it past Ben Killett. We've not even played a minute and it's Salford City 1. Braintree Town nil. Miscontrolled by Cameron James, well recovered by Primpong. Now to the right hand side, ball played through the middle. Neil's come out for it and makes a fantastic challenge to get that ball away from Mohamed Betamo. So he's chasing down it. It was a very well placed through ball through the middle. It's all right. To Whitehead, turns the ball to Torre, trying to create some space on the left to the ball down the line. Cash sees one by Rooney, and now Whitehead, Walker in the middle, opens some space on the right hand side. Gaffney, they build into Shelton now. Shelton onto his right foot, he hesitated. Wiseman, one two with Walker, into space on the right, gets the cross in, it's over Killip and onto the bar, and drops on the right hand side for Braintree to try and break. The ball goes long forward. Pijan is at the back though. Plays that one only out for a throw in on the right hand side to Braintree Town. Della Verde on the right hand side. Swings the ball in towards the near post. It's away by a load of farms in the area. And Braintree penalised for a handball. Which way has he given that? Has he given a penalty? Referee's giving a penalty against Salford here. We think Scott Wiseman booked for handball. In the last minute of the first half, Braintree Town have a penalty. No better, long run up to the right hand side. Sneaks it in at the right hand post past Chris Neal and gets the equaliser for Braintree Town. Salford City 1, Braintree Town 1, and Mo Bettimer with a penalty in the first minute, about a time at the end of the first half. Keeping possession down the middle for Braintree. Turns to face goal, he's got James to his right, finds him. James can't get round Lloyd, now Whitehead a lot to break. Whitehead into Gaffney, carries on his run. Gaffney moving into the middle, finds Shelton. Now Shelton's turn to drive forward, right to centre. Wiseman coming forward, Salford being urged by the crowd, back down to Shelton, Shelton now gets the cross in, Lloyd's at the back post, underneath heads that one over, by far and away the best move in the second half for Salford City, Barney, Page Barney over the halfway line now, lifts the ball over into Rooney, down to Walker, right of centre, returns the ball to Gaffney, turns and shoots, and it's carried away at the near post by Killip, it's a good save by the 22 year old, a good shot, well worked by Salford, Rory Gaffney, Walker from the left, clips the ball in to the back post, Pong coming in, it's headed away, only down to the right into Whitehead, Whitehead now onto his left foot, shoots low, it's blocked at the near post, it's not clear, L all the way, now down to Horton on the edge of the area, moving to the left hand side, he slips, can't keep hold of possession, now Braintree break forward, Grant gets around Shelton, down the middle, now ball down the left into Bessemer, Betmer bearing down on goal from the left of Braintree onto his right foot, finds the back of the net, and Braintree Town take the lead. Mohamed Betmer celebrates his second of the afternoon. Braintree clinical on the break from the corner, but Braintree side bottom in the National League, three two one here at Salford City. Shelton ball down the right, looking for Horton played away by Gabriel but one back by Shelton on the right trying to play it through for Gaffney too many blue shirts in the way and now Braintree bring the ball clear Grant down the middle looking dangerous for Braintree goes for a goal from a long way out and it comes off the crossbar from Reese Grant 
The closest down page on is clearance. And Chris Neal makes the catch. Torre. Torre moving inside of his man. He finds Whitehead. Whitehead now switching the ball out to the right hand side. It's behind Wiseman, but he keeps it in, which is the important bit. Now coming forward into Rodney on the right hand side. Rodney with the cross in from deep towards the back post. And it's just caught by Killip. Watching that one sensibly. Go down to a shot on targets, I think, for Salford. That's not close enough. We've got just over a minute to go. Piajani back to Hogan in the sand circle. Wiseman free on the right, but Hogan drives it forward himself. Draws his man and now finds Rodney on the right. Devontae Rodney moving in field. Powerful run towards goal. Shoots low. Comes out to Gaffney! That's a corner is up and have the equaliser! And Rory Gaffney right at the start and right at the death. Shatters Braintree's hopes of a win. In the third minute of added time, Rory Gaffney, a fantastic strike into the bottom corner. And softening the level. With two minutes left to go. Is there a winning goal? Braintree. That brings up 35. There'll be another 30 seconds. Hogan B knows just to pump it into the area. Up it goes, long, Piajani there, heads it down, Gaffney swivelling, Ello gets it clear, Rodney on the right, out to Wiseman, Wiseman crosses the ball in, it's a good cross, Piajani gets down, and Killett making the save on the line. Piajani directing his header goalwards, he leaps excellently, but he couldn't get it either side, he'd kill it, makes a good save, getting down to his knees, and urging a side forward, I imagine once this goes, there is the full-time whistle from the referee and Salford City come away with a 2-2 draw. The unbeaten run extends to 13 now in the league. But it took a Rory Gaffney goal right at the end of the game to seal it.